Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, Gemini, let's take a look at how are you seeing this person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. What is your view of this person? Let's see, how are you currently seeing this person? The seven of wands in reverse. So you see them as someone who's holding back. The three of pentacles in reverse. You see them as someone who's not really communicating much with you. Um, they're not interacting with you much. Or at all. You might see this person as someone who you feel has a third party. The King of Swords. You see them as someone who is keeping their distance from you or someone who's being cold um, or dry in their energy. And the Temperance card in reverse. So you might see this person as someone who's always at odds with you because the temperance is all about when things are even even and balanced. But when it's in reverse, it's like um, there's an incompatibility there or there's a there's a dis disproportionate energy there. Where one is giving more than the other. Or one is giving, um, or one is taking, but they're not giving. There's a, there's a lack of sinistry or bad sinistry. All right, let's take a look at, um, how does this person see you, Gemini? Okay, how does this person see you, Gemini? They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as someone who's focused on themselves, someone who's focused on their money, their career, their work. They see you as the Ace of Cups, okay? It might see you as someone who's not interested in love. Or they might get that impression from you of, of being someone who's not focused on love. 
Okay, yeah, King of Cups in reverse. So they see you as someone who is emotionally unavailable or emotionally closed off. And the Eight of Wands. They might see you as someone who's not communicating. Not communicating or not reaching out to them or not making yourself available for communication. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at... I want to see how this person feels about you. Let's take a look at that first. How does this person feel about Gemini currently? How does this person currently feel about Gemini? Four of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Magician, the Seven of Wands in reverse. At the bottom, the King of Swords. There he is again, King of Swords in reverse, male or female. Oh, there's the Temperance card there. Temperance upright. Queen of Wands. I feel like this is someone who's secretly interested in you, Gemini. I do see them kind of spying on you or being very focused on you, kind of observing you, thinking about you. I feel like it's this King of Pentacles, um, this Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I don't feel like this person wants you to know um, how much they have feelings for you or how much they're attracted to you. I do feel like they're trying to um, seem very serious or unemotional. They're trying to give off that impression of being serious and unemotional. There is confusion here with the moon card. So I do see that this person is kind of going around in circles in their head about you. There is a lack of forward movement with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, there could be tension between you two or conflict of some kind with the Five of Wands. Um. Yeah, because they see you as the Nine of Pentacles. I, um, so I do see that for some of you, um, you two are clashing with each other because like both of you want to have the upper hand or both of you are just very strong have strong characters have a strong character so both of you might be stubborn I guess basically there might be a stubborn energy that that exists within the both of you And I see this person having a hard time deciding whether they want to be vulnerable with you or not. What's the magician doing here, spirit? Tell me about the magician. Six of swords and the justice card in reverse. 
So this person feels a strong inclination to walk away from this. What's the moon card? Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they just feel really insecure and really um, pessimistic about things growing growing between you two with the Seven of Pentacles. They feel um, pessimistic about the potential of you two being together. Tell me about that Queen of Wands over there, Spirit. Yeah, Eight of Cups and the King of Cups in reverse. Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands. It's this energy of them feeling like you're not showing any interest. So then why should I show any interest? You know, that type of energy. I think they they have it in their head that you're not really interested in them, so they don't see any point in them putting any work or effort into this relationship. They feel like you've already let them go, which um, I don't know, might be true, might not be true. I'm not sure. But that's what they think. All right, well, let's take a look at what, what are your current feelings. See if that's true or not. I don't think I looked at that, no. They admire your success. I, I keep looking at the Nine of Pentacles, so they're, they admire you. Uh, I, I, they admire your confidence or your success in the material world. All right, Spirit, how does Gemini feel about this person currently? Okay, taking a look at how do you feel about this person currently, Gemini. We have the Four of Wands in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups, High Priestess in reverse, and the Three of Wands in reverse. At the bottom, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, look at the moon also. Ace of Cups and the moon. Oh, what I put that in there? Justice in reverse. Yeah, this, this energy of a lack of balance keeps showing up because it did show up also with the temperance card in reverse. And now justice in reverse. There is a very clear lack of balance between you two. A lack of synchronicity. A lack of um, compatibility in a sense. You two just don't, you two don't seem to be on the same page. And I feel like it's because there's a strong uh, personality on both sides. Also a lack of trust, you know, I guess you can say when it, in reality with the Four of Pentacles here, it's, it's basically just a lack of trust on both sides. You know, at, at the same level also. You know, because two people can have a lack of trust with each other, but one person might have a higher level than the other person. And, you know, well, it can it can work out that way. But if both of you have a lack of trust with each other at the same exact level, that's when things get stuck and don't really, there's no, there's no wiggle room, basically. 
I feel like that's what's happening here. There's no wiggle room on either side. Yeah, look at the devil showing up here. The devil can be a little bit of ego, pride. So there might be a little bit of ego and pride on both sides. That's what I'm seeing here. I, I do see you kind of keeping to yourself, being guarded, protecting your energy, and I do see you kind of walking away from this person. Ultimately, I do feel like you don't trust this person, and I see you in this energy of... Um, not wanting to take a risk, which is very similar to their energy, okay? So there's a little bit of a, a stalemate here, basically. All right, um, can I get a potential outcome here, Spirit, for Gemini and this person in the near future? Potential outcome, please. We have Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh, look, Gemini, it's not over. Ten of Swords in reverse means that it's still not over between you two. I guess, you know, it's because of this lover's, like... I. And, it, and I did see it on their side also. I do see that they're they're attracted to you. You're attracted to them. There's a there's a connection there, or even just like a karmic connection. I mean, the devil is here, so there can be a little bit of an obsession, underlying obsession there. Um, anything else for the potential outcome in the near future for Gemini and this person? The Hermit card in reverse, yeah, the Hermit card also can be this energy of returning back. Yeah, returning back. And the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune can be like a cycle, a wheel that, you know, turns around to the same point where it began. So, not seeing that things are over. Yeah, eight of wands, communication, and forward movement. So, at some point, somebody is going to be communicating and someone's going to be um, attempting to restart the connection here between you two. Um, so, it's up to you, I guess, if you want to go along with it or not, but that's what's showing up here. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped you and I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.